Here I am with Susan Kelly from GenerousGardeners.com. How's the site going? It's going very well, thank you. We've been up for about six weeks now. Um, thanks for the original promotion. On Can it. you give people a little uh, refresher on what GenerousGardeners.com uh, is? Generous Gardeners is kind of like a Craigslist for plants. It's um, designed to be a place for listing plants for donation, for swapping, and also to sell um, if you want to sell your plants out of your backyard. Um, and uh, it's all free, except if you want a list to sell. And then it's 25 cents a month uh, per listing. Um, so basically it's free. Um. <laughs> yeah, pretty much free. And, and we, you spoke earlier that this particular time of the year, is this the time where people- This is the time to dig and divide. This dig and divide. Yeah. Dig and divide. This is the perfect time. It's actually started a little earlier this year because we had such an early spring. So that's one of the reasons I wanted you to, uh, to let me on to, to tell everybody that if you're digging and dividing, and you have extra plants, please pot them up and save them for us. We're going to be having a plant sale on May 19th, Saturday, the Saturday before Memorial Day weekend, to benefit Gloucester Education Foundation. And we, I'm accepting donations. You can email me or you can list them on the site and just say that it's for the Gloucester Education Foundation plant sale. And I will be happy to take them in advance or come pick them up before the sale. It will be at Stageport Park from 9 to 2 on Saturday. Their parking is free because wait a, it's... Wait a second, just back up for one yeah. second. Did someone call you? You're going to come pick them up at their house? Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, no. That's I've, full service. Yeah, full service. And then, and actually, and whatever, we'll, we'll keep track of what you've donated and what they sell for. And you will get a tax deduction from Gloucester Education Foundation for the value, for what your plants actually sell for um, at the plant sale. <laughs> This is such so, a it's such a yeah, no-brainer. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it's great. I mean, last year we raised two thousand dollars, but I didn't do any publicity, and we only had eighteen gardeners donating plants. So um, I got a big tax deduction because I donated a lot of plants. But um, this year we're hoping it'll be a lot more people coming to the plant sale and a lot more people donating. I have people from you know even other towns who've agreed to donate plants. What are some of the varieties that you you are expecting to have uh, available at the plant sale? I know we are going to have lots of daylilies. Um, different types of daylilies. Now they're blooming now, so um, it's kind of hard. We'll have pictures and things like that so people can see what they're going to look like. We always get lots of Shasta daisies because they do very well in Gloucester. I know I'm going to be donating lots of different types of sedums, um, and uh, I just there. Well, I don't really know yet because it's it's but, basically. I know last year you know there's just a, people. It was everything. It was yeah. all over all over. You know, whatever does well in Gloucester, people have and they are taking over their garden and they'll say I mean people have been listing on the site saying you know please come I have violets taking over the garden I have you know those orange daylily um, that are so probably called fulva um, they they're everywhere you know the, the orange ones yeah yeah people just say please please you know they're taking over because they can be very aggressive um, so so we'll have a big variety and um, and everything will be very inexpensive too it'll be much less expensive than if you're if you shop at a, at a plant store or heaven forbid a big box store where it was grown in freaking China or something and boxed in this stuff is all local so you know it's a good it's good for the for the community it's good for the environment and it's good for your garden and it's good for your pocketbook that's right the tax so, the tax deduction yeah well, this is like brilliant right so you can actually make money out of your garden with, if you don't do this you're an idiot this is what I'm, well, if I'm you're a gardener gonna, I mean a lot of people garden. don't know that they can divide their plants so if you want information on dividing plants you can go to our website too. We have a lot of propagation and division information, exactly how to divide a daylily. Um, that was our blog this week, was how to divide a daylily. This is generousgardeners.com. Uh, generousgardeners.com, there's a link to the blog, which is generousgardeners.info. Okay. Um, but yeah, the, just the click blog, the link. Yeah, just go to generousgardeners.com and, and the blog is right there. So if you have any questions, um, I can be reached at susan at generousgardeners.com and I would be happy to talk to you about the sale. Beautiful. Okay. Thanks so much. Great.